Hello guys, uh, this is Midoli Ogundeno, the Ninja Boy, aka Mr. Taurus. Uh, this is my first video for 2023. I took a break and um, I'm trying to do a few things before I get back to shooting videos. I want to address two issues that I've been getting complaint, concerns, and comments about. Uh, the first is Fiji. My trip to Fiji. February 2022, last year, I went to Fiji. I spent five days in Fiji. One thing about Fiji is that uh, it rains every time. And it makes sense because this is the rainy season. <laughs> I told you, I told you. I, told you. I uploaded a series of videos about my trip to Fiji, how I went from Nigeria to Fiji. So I've been getting a lot of um, messages about that video, about a lot of Nigerians that want to go to Fiji, uh, even uh, some other African, African countries. Uh, people have been mailing me, texting me, commenting and leaving comments on my, on my video on how to get to Fiji. Uh, the second issue that I want to address is New Zealand. It's called NZETA. Uh, it's a New Zealand electronic travel authorization. But the catch there is that that particular travel authorization is meant for cruise ship. People that use it are the people coming to New Zealand or passing through New Zealand. On a cruise ship so it is not a regular visa a lot of people have been scamming people a lot of scammers are out there uh, trying to tell Nigerians and people in general that can get to Fiji for free so the scammers are out there telling Nigerians scamming Nigerians scamming people that when you get to Fiji you have to take a ferry a cruise from Fiji to uh, New Zealand with that travel authorization Two things about that is uh, for Nigerians getting to Fiji, that's the first part I want to address and I'll address the second part for the New Zealand Travel Electric Authorization. That is the second part I want to address. So <clears throat> I went to Fiji last year. When I went to Fiji, of course I had other visas on my passports. I tried to go from Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, the only airline that was going to Fiji was... Uh, Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways will take you Lagos to Doha. When you get to Doha, you change your flight, transit, Doha to Singapore. Uh, then Singapore to Nadi. Well, Nadi is the place, the city where you land if you fly to uh, Fiji. So it was supposed to be Lagos, Doha, Doha, Singapore, Singapore, Nadi, Fiji. The problem and the issue you're going to face is that uh, as a Nigerian or with your Nigerian passport, for you to get to New Zealand, you have to pass through Singapore and you need uh, what they call OK to board or a transit visa. So if the airline can carry you, can board you with that OK to board, all well and goes. A uh, ticket usually costs about 2 million naira, so it's, it doesn't come cheap. Your ticket to Fiji usually costs about 2 million naira. It, it is very, very expensive. 2 million and above. A lot of people make a mistake. The mistake they make is they buy their tickets to Fiji before anything, and then they get to the airports, and they realize they need OK to board. And um, Qatar Airways will not pick you. They tell you you need um, confirmation from... Uh, confirmation from uh, Singapore. Uh, make sure you either have your um, OK to board or you have your Singapore transit visa or you have your Singapore visa. Then you can fly. When you get to Fiji, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you're not planning to run away. You're planning to go there for a vacation. If you're going for a vacation, one week, two weeks, yeah, that's vacation. But if you're doing more than two weeks, you know, your vacation is um, can be questioned. 
when I got there, they only asked me, the only question they asked, where am I staying? How long am I staying? I told them I'm staying five days and that's it. The whole process was like five minutes and I was stamped in. Welcome to Fiji. So for me, it was straightforward. It was smooth. So I didn't fly from, um, I didn't fly from Lagos. I left Lagos since I couldn't get my okay to board. Uh, I flew to Paris. Paris, uh, I flew, you know, some connecting airline. But I mean, I, I went to Europe first before I went to Fiji. So that is the part that I didn't put in my video. So if you're flying from Lagos, I repeat, if you're flying from Lagos, make sure you get your OK to board if you're flying Qatar Airways. And or you get your Singapore transit visa or you get your Singapore visa. Or else you will be wasting your money. Two million doesn't come easy. Uh, two million plus. And if you're lucky, you get your refund about a million back. Because if the if you didn't board, if you're not boarding that day, the airline will categorize you as no show. And no show is it's not good before you go to Fiji. And the rest, you know, if to Fiji, the rest is easy. If you're going to Fiji, make sure you book your hotel reservation. You have enough money for your stay. You can't be going to a place and you're planning to go to a place for, to spend two weeks. You're spending two weeks in a place and you only have like $200, $300. It doesn't work like that. So make sure you're prepared. Have your money with you. Uh, then you'll be fine. Uh, the other aspect I'm trying to address is the issue of uh, the New Zealand Electronic Travel Authorization, NZETA. First and foremost, uh, now big man, big man, they go cruise. So if you're, you, you cannot be in Fiji and want to go on a cruise to New Zealand, I mean, it's actually far. It's like in the middle of the ocean. You know, so anyone that tells you that you can just get a cruise, a cruise ship, if you can, at least you're paying five, ten thousand dollars for that. But you can't. While I was in Fiji, although I wasn't looking for, I wasn't looking for, um, I wasn't looking to get to New Zealand. But while I was in Fiji, there was nothing in Nadi. If there was something, you would have to go south of Fiji that is Suva that is the capital if there was something like that it would be in Suva so uh, that visa that they're giving people is actually cheap you could get it in one day and it's very very cheap but these scammers are out there telling people taking a lot of money from people and telling them to go to just get to Fiji and besides if it's just for cruise ship it is not a visa for you to go to New Zealand. So don't be thinking you have a visa. You don't have a visa. It's if you're going on a cruise, you're joining a ship. Yeah, it's something for you to hold and to show the immigrations. So uh, you can't possibly think you're going to enter New Zealand with that. If you plan to go to New Zealand. If you plan to go to New Zealand, go through the proper channel, go online, go apply, just like you're applying for any normal visa. If you qualify, you get a visa. If you don't, you know they'll probably refuse you and tell you why and what you need to do and why they refuse you. So don't fall victim. Uh, do your research. Information is cheap these days. You can actually Google anything and you find the information you need. Don't fall victim to these people that, you know, sell you this uh, New Zealand electronic travel authorization, take a lot of money from you, and at the end of the day, you buy a ticket to go to Fiji and hoping you're going to cross from Fiji. It doesn't work like that. Um, yeah, so that's one of the main messages I wanted to pass. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the Ninja Boy. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Uh, more video coming. More informative video coming. And um, just in case you've not subscribed to my channel, please check me out, The Nanja Boy. On YouTube is The Nanja Boy. On Instagram is The Nanja Boy. On Facebook is The Nanja Boy. Support your boy. Subscribe to my channel. Peace.